Hi everybody, T. Gabrielle here to share with you my wonderful Arigato Ombre Burrito. It's an East means West burrito. It incorporates Chinese and Japanese style cooking along with the Mexican style cooking, but yet it's bubblicious, healthy, good for you stuff. Those are the only ingredients in my burrito, minus the flour. So what I what I did was I started with some olive oil. To my olive oil, I added some fresh garlic, freshly diced Roma tomatoes because they are the most flavorful. I knew this thing would pop, so I'm prepared for it. Uh, garlic tends to do that when you cook it, tends to pop. And then to that, I added some freshly chopped parsley and cilantro. Fresh herbs are extremely, extremely good for you. Thank you, virtual assistant. And I also added some finely chopped onions to that. Then I added some chicken. What I did was, my hands are clean. When you cook, make certain that you you only do one thing at a time and keep the fingernails short and keep your hands clean. Um, it's uh, that way you can make certain that no one gets uh, sick from bacteria. Anyway, this was a chicken tender. I cooked it and I seasoned it nice. You can see it's juicy inside. You can shred it or you can cut it for your burrito. And what you do is you just take it and you add it onto this. and bring it all together. Instead of using rice or cheese, I decided to incorporate uh, the Chinese rice noodle into my burrito. It's going to work like cheese uh, because it's going to help bind things together. In addition, I added quite a bit of spinach for the healthy portion of my burrito. And kabam, it is all ready. So it looks like this when you are done. And you can see the noodles are in there, everything is in there, and I'm sure it tastes wonderful. So to move things along, I'm just going to push this aside. and cover it up so it does not splatter me. And now, I'm just going to take a regular flour tortilla and I'm going to warm it up on both sides. So while my tortilla warms up, let me show you the presentation part of my Arigato Ombre Burrito. You can see it's warming up. But it will take a moment, especially with this gadget. Okay, now I've got that thing out of the way. I can move on. So now I'm going to take my warm flour tortilla, take a plate. I think I'll keep this hot. Take a plate, put it on a plate. I do mine round. You can do yours however you would like. Uh, since this is mine, I'm going to put a lot of the spinach mixture into it. Thank you, virtual assistant. And then I'm going to add some more of that but of course I want more green than anything else so I'm going to stop right there so I'm going to take my burrito now as we did with uh, the shrimp rolls we're going to roll it except this time I'm not going to tuck it at any end I'm just going to take it I can handle hot stuff. I'm accustomed to it. Uh, there was a gentleman 
at my munchies restaurant who had to have this burrito every single day and I kid you not every day we would have to have it ready we knew what time he got off work I'm going to add a little cheese just to bind the ends together not too much take my burrito it's nice and hot and I'm going to put it like that on the plate for presentation purposes And I want my plate clean, so I'm going to clean my plate now. Now this, I have a Japanese curry sauce that I made. Now this sauce can be purchased at the stores. Uh, they have it at regular stores. They come in little cubes and they come either mild, hot, or, or regular. So I simply took this cube and I melted it in some water, tasted it, made, sh made sure that it was not too salty because um, it's a high concentration of salt in here and uh, this is what I ended up with it does tend to film on top so I covered it up you have to make sure your sauce is nice and hot everything is nice and hot so it comes together now I'm going to take my sauce and put it on top of my burrito and immediately add cheese to it I want the cheese to melt and typically for my restaurant I used to throw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds just so the cheese would melt but it will you know what let me do that it will only take 10 seconds melted somewhat so now I'm going to take some ribboned green onions and I'm going to make my burrito very very pretty by just simply taking the onions and doing that of course uh, you can't eat this with chopsticks but I will find a way and it's absolutely perfect it's optional you don't have to you can add some avocado I typically don't because this is pretty filling as it is I have prepared for you my arigato ombre east midwest burrito and I have no doubt that it's wonderful So I'm going to show you how pretty it is when you cut into it and the mixture between the between the chicken and the tomatoes, the cilantro, oh I don't want that. <laughs> Make sure the cilantro and the curry sauce is absolutely to die for. So let's go on and taste my arigato hombre burrito look how pretty that is mm. 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 to gabrielle thank you for watching enjoy an arigato hombre burrito bye bye